A vicious road rage incident that left an Edmonton woman with two broken arms continues to send shock waves through the community it happened in tonight. The man wanted in connection to this crime still hasn't been found. But there are some questions about whether he has already returned to the scene multiple times. CTV's Dan Grummet following this story for us tonight. And Dan, our CTV cameras um, actually could possibly have footage that Edmonton police investigators are interested in. Yeah, they could. Investigators have inquired about footage that uh, CTV shot this morning. It shows a vehicle with similar features to the one police are looking for. It's a heinous attack that's left a community looking over its shoulder. It is really startling to see this. It was Tuesday morning. A woman was turning from 87th Street onto 77th Avenue. She drove up behind a silver compact car blocking the eastbound lane and honked. Moments later, police say the driver of that car attacked her with a crowbar outside her home, leaving her with two broken arms. Swinging for the complainant's head and she blocked it. Police released these photos of what they thought was a Chevy Aveo, highlighting the spoiler, the winter rims. As our CTV Morning Live crew was getting the word out about the suspect vehicle, they spotted this vehicle in the area three times, a small four-door silver compact with that matching spoiler and winter rims, the driver covering part of their face. But it was a different make and model, a Pontiac Wave. A few hours later, police said based on further review, the suspect vehicle is indeed a Pontiac Wave and inquired about obtaining this video footage from CTV. It is a little unnerving to think that somebody so violent is out there over something so simple. To think that she was followed like to her house, it's just like boggles my mind. It's crazy. I think it's reprehensible and it's uh, really a unfortunate that it's happened in this community. AMA has two bits of advice for drivers in the wake of this incident. Use your horn sparingly to alert other drivers. And if you're being followed, don't go home, go someplace public. That's when you probably want to use the horn just to draw attention to your vehicle. Um, and usually that can deter the aggressor. As for the woman involved here, no update on her condition today. We know she underwent surgery on her broken arms. I spoke with an area homeowner who told me he had spoken to the victim's husband and he passed along that they are both still quite shaken up over this incident, Aaron. Yeah, as you can imagine, Dan, uh, you mentioned as well police wanting to obtain that video that our CTV Morning Live crew mm -hmm. uh, managed to get this morning. Uh, but that doesn't mean that they have it just yet. No, that's because it's uh, CTV News policy. We don't release any footage that uh, may be used by police or the courts unless we're, ser unless we're served with a court order to do mm -hmm. so. And so far, Edmonton police have not come forward with that necessary paperwork. Dan. Thank you. You're welcome.